In this uh, section, we will analyze the solution of the Planini task. But before we start, guys, I strongly recommend to go deep into uh, the previous parts, especially the convex hull parts. Our solution to this uh, problem, we can divide it into three subtasks. Subtask number one, compute each value points consistent the left line and the right line. As you see in the picture, in the, in the, in the images here. For value number one, first we go from left to right to get the two left points. These two points. Sorry for this. The two points. This one from left to right. Same for valley number two. Valley number three. Etc. Very number four. Etc. These two points will consist the left line and uh, to compute the intersection between this line and the line of fairies. Then we go from uh, right to left this way to compute the right two points of the value. These two points were by number five, by number four, this point, by number three, these points, etc. We go, we go, uh, we go this uh, deep in, in, in a few seconds. Subtask number two, to compute the intersection of these lines with the line of fairy, with the line of fairies here. After detecting all the points here for value number one, for example, we can draw this line and this line and compute the intersection between the two these lines with the line of fairies. Subtask number three. Compute the minimum number of intersections covering all set of segments. As, see, as you see in the picture of these, now we have all these segments. We compute the intersection, we get this part. So, this part of the line, well, we can put here any ferry in any, uh, a ferry in any position, and this part here. To eliminate all the paths, so we need here we need just one one fay to eliminate all uh, all the all the path. Let's do the subtask number one together. I take as example this this uh, this uh, this path or this points or these points. Sorry. Subtask number one, determine the points of each value. So, in the first, uh, the first point, we have to compute the left side points by drawing the upper hole from left to right. Look, we start by this point here, to this point of the value. Points. I draw the points here and here. What's the convex hole between the two points? Is this. So, for valley number one, we have the two left points are two zero and 1 minus 2 
this is the first pair of points for the very number one on the left side let's go to the very very, very number two what's the convex hull now from this point to this point sorry not this this point here we have to draw to this point and continue to this point this is the convex hull from the first point and at the bottom of this valley number 2 here so the second pair here is okay the first point is zero 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 and uh, one minus five one minus five Now, from this point, the first point to the bottom, bottom of the valley, the third valley here, the convex hole now, from this first point to this point, and from this point, from this point to this point so the left point for the very number 3 are 2 8 2 8 and uh, we 0 For value number four, let's make a zoom here. For value number four, from this point to this point to the value number four here. From this point to this point, and from this point, not to this point because as you see here it's not the smallest convex hull as we have seen in the in the previous part especially in the, the part what, where, where I uh, talked about the convex hull so the convex hull is this the points now for the body number 4 the left points are 2 a 2 a and uh, seven, uh, five, 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 one. to this point now the bottom of the fifth valley same here from this point to this point this is a smaller convex hull from the first point to the point of the valley number number five the bottom of the point of the, of the valley here. two eight seven one two eight Two eight seven one. Now we do the same now from the right, right to the left. 
the convex hull from the valley number five let's make this here we need this later just we need this now no. from this point to this point eight eight seven seven one eight eight seven one now value number uh, four eight eight five one Value number three. As you see here, this point is out the convex hole. So we make this eight eight two four. We do that to that point. Then to reach, we have to reach the bottom, of course, from here to here. We always take the two last points of the convex hole. As you see, this is the convex hull. Uh, four, two, three, zero. Four, two, three, zero. Value number two, it will be from this point, the convex hull, smallest polygon, but to do this is the convex hull, from this point to this point, and to reach this point one minus five, I have to do this, this line. All the segments. So, okay. Two eight one minus five. Two eight one minus five. Now for the value number one. from this point of course to this point two eight one minus two two eight one minus two Just uh, I check if I did the right all these uh, this, this computations. Let's come back to subtask number one here. Okay, uh, value one, one two, one, uh, value number two, zero, one, value number three, zero, value number four, two eight five one, value number five two eight seven one. The right from the right to the left by number five eight eight seven one by number four eight eight five one by number three four two three zero by number two two eight one minus five by number one two eight one uh, I think here it's minus one yes it's minus one you know, did it I think you uh, didn't see the minus here yes I missed here. Okay, it's correct. In the next part, guys, we will see the subtask number two how to do the uh, intersection between these two lines 
these two lines of the H valley and the lines of it. See you later, guys.